We recently visited Station 51 where Fire Captain Joe Minton and his crew reviewed the capabilities of their mass casualty unit. Check it out and think about ordering them for your next big incident. Hi, I'm Joe Minton. I'm the fire captain assigned to Station 51 A-Shift. Here behind me we have Mass Casualty 51, which is cross-staffed uh, by the crews of Station 51. Mass Casualty 51 is automatically part of a Category 3 response. And then any other time that you might need Mass Casualty 51 for any large-scale type Mass Casualty incident, IC has to request us. Okay, what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna give you a quick tour of what Mass Casualty 51 has to offer you on a large-scale mass casualty incident. First compartment, we're gonna have skeds and also traffic cones for any type of barriers you may need. Second compartment, you're gonna have two immediate, two delayed, and one black uh, tarp for your treatment areas and also your morgue, along with flagging tape and other tools. The next compartment contains uh, 10 BLS trauma bags. On the mass casualty itself, we have a total of 37. The rear compartment on the driver's side has the uh, um, extrication collar bag, but not only are there collars in it, but there's also cardboard splints for any splinting you might need to do. So to the rear of the, apart of the mass casualty 51, we have five of the wheeled litter rescue systems or rickshaws. You're gonna have the base, the wheels, and then the legs of the rickshaw along with the litters. We have 21 of the litters, five of the rickshaws. Along with that, we have 19 backboards that can be utilized as well. The passenger rear compartment, we have our pediatric boards, an AED, along with some uh, oxygen for in case we come across something on the road or it can be used as well on a mass casualty incident. On the bottom, we have a number of uh, emergency blankets. The middle compartment in the rear here, again, is more of the 37 BLS trauma bags. Empty compartment for any type of other gear we might need to carry. And then the pass-through on this side, we have four easy-ups, 10 by 20, and here you're gonna need about six people to put these up, as well as the bags below uh, have um, the uh, walls that you can attach if you need to do some type of barrier system. On top of the mass casualty, we have two Stokes baskets. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a couple of the rickshaws and uh, the easy ups just to show you what it would look like uh, if you were to, we were to arrive and you would help us set these systems up. Out of the Mass Casualty 51, here are the four components to the rickshaw. In order for the rickshaw to function, you have to have all four. You have the base, the wheels, the legs, and the stretcher. Basically, all they're doing is sliding the arm through the sleeve white goes to white. For the wheels, you're gonna go red to red and the smaller side is just gonna slide over on top. The locking mechanism needs to be pushed into place with your heel. On level ground, you can see it takes one person to easily operate the rickshaw. But if you do come across a debris pile and you need two, you can stretch out the arms as demonstrated by Firefighter Larson. And then two people can easily maneuver over the debris pile. So the patient's moved off and now you have your four piece component again of the rickshaw. Here are the example of what a treatment area would look like with the easy up and the tarp. Obviously the one that is set up is red for immediate. We have two of those, two of the yellows for delayed, and one black tarp for the morgue. So again, this is Mass Casualty 51. Uh, we'd like to thank you for uh, coming out today to let us show you the, what the apparatus can do for you. Also we've had questions about what does uh, the unit at 71's have, the Mass Decon unit, completely separate from what this one is. So if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or ECC and any ICs that are heading to some type of incident where you think you might have multiple patients for an MCI, get us on the road early, give us a request, we'll be happy to come out. So on behalf of myself, Engineer Zubis, Firefighter Paramedic Larson, and Firefighter Herrera, thanks for coming out today.